and then it ends by saying, "Battle is it's all hoof." I I really practiced the intro, so I and I don't even know if I got that right. I can say "kapla," and that's about it. Heck, I know more German, Japanese, French, and Italian than I do um, Klingon, which is sad. Is it sad? I don't know. Welcome back to Rewind with B. Schwitty because Vortash Beer da Blukni Kakuk Nai. Today, we are going to be doing something I've been wanting to do for almost a year now review some Star Trek wine. And not just any wine, we're going to be reviewing today this Klingon blood wine. Because what says Valentine's Day better than Klingon blood wine? Now, I plan on doing a review on all the Star Trek wines that are currently available in the future, but today I wanted to do the the Klingon blood wine for two reasons. Uh, The first being that blood wine, what is... um, bigger aphrodisiac in the Klingon Empire than blood wine. And two, uh, Christopher Plummer passed away last week, I believe on Friday. Um, he's an actor best known as Captain Von Trapp from Sound of Music. Edelweiss, Edelweiss. But he also appeared in Star Trek VI, The Undiscovered Country, as Klingon General Chang, who is best known as the Klingon who quoted Shakespeare in the original Klingon. (laughs) So here's what the website has to say about this Klingon blood wine. A ceremonial Klingon blood wine featuring a dramatic silk screen, as seen here, and hand-dipped wax finish, which is this right here. Very cool although no no embossing on the top, uh, pays homage to the three pillars of Klingon culture, duty, honor, and tradition. For our new Klingon blood wine, we utilize the same ancient methods as the great Klingon vintners and talents of the 2020 wine enthusiast 40 Under 40 tastemaker, Andrew Nelson, as winemaker. The Cabernet Sauvignon grapes used to create this traditional Klingon blood wine were cultivated to produce strong fruit that glistens a vibrant ruby color in the glass. Design elements, including the special silk screen process with a unique mesh texture. Oh yeah, you can kind of see there's a little mesh texture right here around the Klingon text on the wine. I can't believe they got away with that. Uh, Provide an authentic look and feel. Each bottle is then hand filled and expertly wax dipped. Um, I've done a lot of wax dipping in my time and I definitely have not had drip on a bottle like that. I guess it's a stylistic choice. In addition, there are unique Klingon sayings on the four different corks used in the bottling, all celebrating Klingon culture and language. Which one will you get? So we're going to open this up. We're going to try it. Uh, Just so you know, when you have wax seals like this, you just want to take your wine opener and you just go straight through the wax and pull right through. I'm going to show you that process right now. Push. Pull. See how it breaks nice and easy through. And then you get no wax inside and a clean opening to pour from. Let's see what our Klingon cork says, shall we? Has the Klingon Empire symbol on it. And these characters, which I cannot read because my Star Trek trekkiness is lacking. And then realized that this was the one, in fact, one phrase that I did know in Klingon. Kapla. Let's see how this Klingon wine turns out. They said it was going to be a vibrant ruby red color, which, um... I don't know if ruby is the right color for this. It seems darker. Smells fantastic. So, uh, Klingon blood wine in in in-universe is best served warm, 
according to according to memory alpha. But this is not traditional Klingon blood wine. This is human patak made blood wine. But let's see how this tastes compared to regular wine. Ooh. <clears throat> Sorry, I really feel like singing a jaunty Klingon tune right now. With a bunch of low grumbling noises and words that I don't know. Uh, this is much better than I was expecting. Um, it's a Cabernet. It smells of alcohol in the nose. 14.5% alcohol by volume. 2018 California Cab, made and bottled in Lodi, California. While does not taste like a traditional California Cab, at least not one that you would get from Napa Valley, it does have a heavy note of chocolate, which I think is good for all Star Trek fans that aren't necessarily wine fans. While it caters somewhat to traditional wine fans as well, it is somewhat, mm, I don't know what the word I'm looking for, Lacking, but it is big and it's still big and robust, but it's not as complex as I was hoping for. It does honestly feel like a great representation of blood wine, as in it'll get you drunk, uh, but it's not meant to be appreciated as a complex wine, at least not at the levels of, say, something poncy like a Napa cab. It's above the levels of just being like a box wine or a table wine, but at the same time, it's not really like super deep. It's, it has, it's, it has strong tannins that's masked by its, I want to say fruitiness, but it's not, it's more of a, a slight sweetness. I, it's almost off dry, which is really in opposition to the tannins on the lingering finish. It is, it is honestly a strange experience. Um, although at the same time, tastes a lot like Lodi wine or even Temecula wine that I've had before, which are two very different locations. It's a, it's a good effort at something bold, but approachable in case you're just a Star Trek fan that's always wanted to try blood wine. This might be for you. Would I recommend this to any Trekkie or Trekker out there? Absolutely. It's uh, Klingon blood wine. You've got to try it at least once. It might not be exactly what you had hoped for uh, hearing the word blood and wine together, but I think it does a great job approximating what humans would do to make blood wine. It's drinkable. It's it's not overly compelling, but it, it has more punch to it than, say, Barefoot Cabernet or Black Box Cabernet. Maybe the wine's not exactly worth the price, but this bottle is really, really cool. Um, and you can store your own blood wine in it that you make yourself at home. I'm not endorsing making blood wine at home because I don't know what that exactly entails. It's just, it's a really cool silk screen bottle. And um, yeah, if you're a fan of the Klingons, if you know how to say more phrases in Klingonese than I do, you got to give this a try. So did you like my horrible uh, butchering of Klingon? Let me know in the comments below. And if you're going to try this out, uh, I'll leave a link to the website for the web Star Trek wines. Not a sponsor, not an affiliate, none of that stuff. That being said, please leave a like, share, comment, and subscribe. Uh, ring that little bell to get notices when I release a new episode, which for the month of February, we're doing five days a week. Monday through Friday, just to get us back into the swing of things for season three. You can find us on Instagram at Rewind Show, at Twitter at Be Schwitty, and, uh, you know, stay here at YouTube, the place where I, I made this, this series, which you can find my channel easily at rewindshow.com. So, like I said, this has been Rewind. My name is Be Schwitty, and I will catch you next time. Engage.